Hello, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Let's take a look today at a new prime icon. That is Van Basten. Marco Van Basten, the Dutch legend, who is now an icon, of course, on FIFA 18. 93 rated, the prime version is, uh, for Van Basten. He's got 83 pace, 89 dribbling, and 94 shooting. The striker is 6 foot 2 with medium, medium work rates. Right footed with only 3 star skill moves, but he does have that very nice 4 star weak foot. And combine that with his shooting and I'm sure that's going to almost feel like a 5 star in game. So moving on in to a couple of different squad options that I've got for you for you guys today. The first one, he fits as a lone striker in a 4-3-2-1. Uh, Bundesliga, Premier League and Serie A. And then of course, same formation, same position. Uh, but just surrounded by a, a higher caliber of player. Uh, you know, he's a 93 rated prime icon. He should be surrounded by players of, uh, of a similar rating, you know, to, to really get the best out of him. So moving on in to the, the in-game stats, we can see what the Dutch icon is all about. Now, I have used his 89 quite a bit and I, I very much enjoy him on the game. Uh, so I was hoping for some nice boosts for this particular version, who is of course four ratings higher. And I've got to say, I've used the engine chemistry style today and we get Van Basten up to 91 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. Of course, I'm already happy with the shooting stats that he's got. That he's got. That's one of his key areas, which he just has by default. Uh, but the added agility and balance and dribbling and ball control stats that we get as well, uh, that, that was really helpful for me today uh, when using uh, the Dutch icon. So moving on in to the clips, you're going to see all of the lovely goals that I was able to score with this beast. Uh, but he's definitely not the perfect striker. Uh, he is a great target man, but he's not the perfect striker for FIFA. Uh, we can talk negatives then. We'll get them out of the way. The two things that I really had an issue with uh, Van Basten for was, firstly, creating his own space. Now... I think some of this might partly be down to the fact that he's only got the three star skills and of course that links us into the next negative but there's just something about Van Basten where I, uh, I, I can't quite make my own space in the way that I can do with, with certain other other strikers whether that be because of a little bit of pace although this one's not slow uh, or mainly because of the skill moves you know I can't burber, sp burber spin myself into space or do a little Ronaldo chop or anything like that uh, a lot of the time I feel, feel like having three star skill moves can be part of the downfall of a player like this um, and those are the, those are like the negatives that I find with Van Basten just struggled a little bit to to make space in some of the more competitive games that I played uh, but moving on into the, the longer list of positives, what you get is a really, really great target man striker in this player. Firstly, he's now got added pace. You know, this, this version is quick. Uh, I feel like he's the same pace uh, as, as the version that I've used before. Uh, but of course, the, the 91 rated Van Basten in between is obviously a lot slower than the other two. But yeah, this one feels like a, a more composed version of the the baby version on the game so uh, same amount of pace but just a little bit more clinical and stuff in front of goal so his positioning is obviously perfect the major difference for me between this version and the 89 rated that i've used previously like i said uh is that positioning is is a a major positive for this particular van basten like right space at the right time uh which almost counter counters out the fact that he can't make his own space because he's already there he's already in the right spot at the right time it's when you've got to do the work to create it for yourself is is, is the problem you know but as a as a striker himself he is often in that right place uh, to take the touch and then just bang it or just literally hit a first time shot or something um the major issue I had with the previous version is that he seemed to be offside a lot. This one definitely, that wasn't the case, you know. He was really well positioned. Doesn't help to try and get back to defend too often. Doesn't push too far forward. Just um, the right amount of like key runs and stuff were made by this player. Uh, he also acts as a great target man because... He's tall, he's relatively strong, uh, and for me, he seemed to be able to win a lot of the aerial battles. He's got the strength to be able to do that, uh, and of course, the composure. He's got great ball control and dribbling. 
that is one thing that you can, you have to say about Van Basten. His first touch is pretty much impeccable, and then when he does move with the ball, uh, he, he he keeps it nice and close to his feet, of course. He just can't do the four-star skills. Uh, his shot power is absolutely nuts like if he feels like he hits complete bangers every single time uh, and his his shooting in general is just next level you can hit long shots with this player low driven from inside the box uh, volleys are a specialty of a player like this with 98 volleys in game and just his general finishing and composure on the ball in front of goal is what makes him the player he is so for me a definite upgrade on the 89 rated version which i've used quite a lot of um, and of course he does possess a a decent amount of pace as well so yeah in my opinion the most usable version of van basten on foot 18 um let me know guys is the prime version right for your ultimate team thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you next time peace